What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can make it to where there's the appearance that there are multiple hyperlinks in the exact same cell in Excel. Um, as a note, this is definitely exciting because this is the first user submitted question that I've had. Uh, so thank you to Fas Hal Muhammad. I'm sorry if I if I skewed your word if I skewed your name a little bit. Um, but this is the first user submitted question, so I hope that you all find this to be of use. Um, and thank him for the idea. So in this situation, we have four different websites with four different corresponding links and we have a statement where we want to have the appearance of there being four hyperlinks in the statement where where each where each word corresponds to a website so in this situation what we're going to do is we are going to insert clear boxes over each of the respective words and then we are going to link the rectangles to the to the websites and then have the appearance of there being four hyperlinks in the same cell so to show you what i mean by that we're going to go to insert and we're going to go to illustrations shapes and rectangle and then we're going to have uh, insert the rectangle over the word not entirely in this case just because i don't want them to be overlapping to so right click format shape and then we are going to have the fill be no fill. No, I'm not going to remove the border just yet, and that's because I need four of these rectangles in the same box. And the words are of different lengths, so I want to make sure that um, they're not overlapping each other and that the spacing is proper. So here we go. Fourth rectangle being inserted. This is not by any means perfect. Likely need, we need a little bit of adjusting, but it would, should get the point across. So now I'm going to go through, copy the link from Microsoft, Control C. Or I'm actually can copy the text text of the cell. So, so F2, highlight this, Control C. Now I'm going to right click on the rectangle, and I'm going to go to link, and then I'm going to Control V for the address. I'm going to repeat this process for the other four links. So go into here, copy, right click link there you go then we will same thing I'm going to try to make sure to click the rectangle as opposed to the um, so right click link goes to the weevil in case you're wondering yes those are referral links um, if you're interested so control C I'm trying to make sure again to click only the box, click not the box to click, click link, and then right here, bring those. Um, now I'm going to go through and reformat the shapes to remove the lines to make it appear there are no lines to line, no line, and again, it's going to need a little bit of adjusting. Line, no line, line, no line, right click, format shape. The no line now whenever we click on a link so like uh, we click on a word there is a clear rectangle that's over the word that will that's linked to the website we want to go to and um that would take us where you need to go so let's just click on robin hood for example and as you can see it takes us to robin hood we click on the microsoft one and it, as you can see it takes us to microsoft so with that being said there are some limitations to be mindful of right so one of the things that is very important to keep in mind is that if you adjust the size of the cells, the size of the rectangles will not adjust with them. There are some things that you can do to get around this. One thing would be to would, would be to lock the sheet so what, so that way whenever you are sending this to a user, they won't be able to adjust the adjust this, the, the sheet and then therefore mess up the position of the links. Also try to try to snap the um, shapes to the cells as well. May be useful. Another another thing could be to group the shapes together. So even if the underlying text changes a little bit or the size of the text changes, then the positioning and shape and size um, and the positioning of the shapes won't change. So these these are a few things that you can use to get around some limitations. Um, and this isn't foolproof, but it will work in some situations. So that being said, I really hope that you found this tutorial to be useful and interesting. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Have a great day.